Hey, what's up guys? This is Miguel from Sporajo, Madrid, and today I came to this really nice two-bedroom apartment located in Calle Melquiades Biencinto. This is in the neighborhood of Vallecas, which is a little bit outside of Madrid city center, but we are only a six-minute walk away from the uh, closest metro station, which is Puente de Vallecas. Line one goes through it, and that one goes straight to Sol in less than 20 minutes, all right? So it's going to take you no more than... 20, 25 minutes to get to the main center from here, which is a great thing. But also, if you want to stay in this area, I mean, this is a typical neighborhood of Madrid where you can find tons of bars and restaurants and, and uh, supermarkets and grocery stores and everything, so it's very convenient. And, well, it also has some green areas, some nice parks where you can just go out for a walk or whatever. But, like I said, it's only less than half an hour from the main center in case you want to, or in case you want to go there. All right, and well, this is a two share. But I'm sorry, two bedroom apartment. Uh, we are on the first floor. The building doesn't have an elevator, but it's just one floor, so it's not that bad. Both bedrooms are really sunny, and the living room is also very sunny. But let's check it out. So that's the front door. Let me turn this light on so you can see it better. So upon entrance to the right, we have bedroom two. This is the bathroom. Bedroom one the uh, living room and the kitchen is just right there so why don't we get started here with this really nice living room uh, just check it out guys it's super super sunny uh, it's almost noon and there's a lot of light coming in which is a great thing and well that's enough to bright up also the kitchen all right um, well aside from that as you can see it's a you know a very spacious living room it has a nice couching here coffee table there's the uh, TV and all well, the TV furniture there with some shelves, some cabinets, some drawers, so should be good for storage or decoration. And then you also have this other one right here uh, for extra either, again, storage or decoration. Let me move to this side. So there's a little table. Well, there's that kind of like another nightstand. And then this is a foldable table. So you can open it up and it becomes a bigger table for dining or you know for what you also even as a desk or whatever you may need it to all right um, so here's another view of the living room as you can see really sunny I mean the light bulb is on but as you can see that doesn't give much light It's basically all sunlight all right and let's check the kitchen now that we're here uh, well of course it's connected to the living room, very convenient, but it also has this door in here in case you don't want the uh, all the other to you know come out of the kitchen into the living room. So you can close it out. And well it's a fully equipped kitchen. Here's the fridge, the microwave oven, the dish, I mean the washing machine, the oven, the electric stove. In here there's a little table here with a couple of chairs. And in this drawer, we can find oops, the, the silverware. And here we have some of the cups. Then you also have this shelf here for all the kitchen stuff. And well, in here we have some of the plates. There's a pan right there. One of the big knives is in there as well. And then we have all the cups, bowls, glasses and more plates in there all right. well here's the sink of course and then you have all these other cabinets for you know storage and all the kitchen stuff all the food and all that so here's another view of the kitchen from this corner again really sunny because of the light from the living room all right and now I'm gonna show you the bathroom which is right here and well, it's a pretty good sized bathroom if you compare it to the rest of the house. Um, it does have the sink, the toilet, the shower cabin, and that really cool trash bin. It's really industrial, and well, I think it looks really nice, I should say. It. <laughs> All right, and well, there's a mirror, and then those shelves in there as well. All right, so let's check uh, the bedrooms now. Uh, so this is bedroom number one. It has a double bed as you can see and then 
right beneath the uh, the mattress you can actually pull it up and then there's extra storage space down there all right in case you need it and there are also a couple of nightstands on each side as well as the lamp and well the bedroom goes to an interior patio but well, step there so you can see it so it's as you can see it's basically the exterior of course uh, there's nothing blocking the the sunlight and then in the afternoon the light comes through you know straight to the window so uh, the bedroom is a little bit brighter in the afternoon but still um, you know there's some light coming in at this time of the of the day and this is an interior patio that is really quiet the landlady just told me that there's not much you know it's really really quiet the neighbors are nice people and well that's a great thing all right here's another view of the bedroom from this corner and there's that huge built-in closet unit that has well a rail there for the hangers a shelf up there and then two more shelves in there and then same thing on this other side same shelves and up there as well right so one last view of bedroom number one from here all right and last but not least bedroom two which is the bedroom that goes to the exterior so it's even brighter at this time of the day it does ha oh i forgot to say something so as you can see the setting right now on bedroom one is a double bed but if you want a single bed and a desk the landlady the landlady can arrange that for you all right so uh, i mean it can stay as it is but if you need a different arrangement just ask the landlady and she will do it for you all right and well bedroom one i'm sorry bedroom two is uh as i told you it could be with a single bed and a desk and a chair as well and you also have a built-in closet unit same as the one i just showed you on the other room you have a rail there for the hangers a shelf up there and those shelves in there as well all right and well i'm going to show you the exterior because i haven't i haven't done that so this is the actual street and well uh parking in here is for free but you know it might be a little tough to find a parking spot but you know if you have a car just for you to know you, you wouldn't have to pay anything in here and well as you can see it's a quiet street and just right in that corner there's a shop and well like i said nice neighborhood here in madrid, in madrid. all right so one last view of bedroom number two from this side all right, and that will be it, guys. So again, a really nice two-bedroom apartment located in Vallecas, uh, just five-minute walk from Puente de Vallecas Metro Station. And well, you can, like I said, you can be in the main center, like in 20-25 minutes from here. All right. So thanks for watching. That's it. Bye.